Okay, so last video we created this panel. We copied in our device, we extruded it down, and then we moved it up the wall. This time, let's get into some solid modeling. So our first step, much like everything else, we're gonna check and make sure we're on the right levels. And we're going to use this solid modeling or slab modeling. This allows us a couple of things. We're gonna stick with it being orthogonal. That means it's at right angles. Um, if you knew the exact size and shape of everything, you can go ahead and put this in here now. So length, width, height. Let's say we know this is a 10 inch deep, uh, two foot wide, three foot tall panel. We can go in here, click, and it is going to lock us in to those dimensions. And there you go, it's modeled. It's not right where we wanted it, but we can manipulate that using the tools we've used previously. In these cases where we already have these dimensions in here, but it was done, who knows, it could have been done last week, it could have been done months ago, and you may not remember what that is, length width height wise. I prefer to leave those off and work in the orthogonal mode. So we're going to go tentative on that corner, hit enter to lock our axis, select the other end. You'll notice this now allows us to go here. Again, if you're if you need to switch views and it's not working out, Hit that V key, and that allows you to lock it in other rotations. Now in this case, you can actually very clearly see the change in the ACS of how it's moving things around. So let's go back to view one. We'll hit V, it locks our axis back in. Now we're moving along the surface. So set our depth, and now let's set our height. Let's say this is a three foot tall power panel. There we go. It's sitting there below the floor, just like the one we created earlier. So let's go ahead and create another one. So we're going to use our slab. Make sure we're on the right level. Yep, this is a power panel as well. Out, tentative, click, tentative, click. Great thing about tentative is if you accidentally click the wrong thing, you can just tentative again. And let's say there's a couple really close snaps. Sometimes you get the right one, sometimes you don't. Continuing to tentative will cycle the nearest snaps until you get the one you want. So in this case, we want that. Make this guy three feet tall as well. So there's our second panel. Now we can move those two guys that we model up to the same head height. Now in this case, since we know we've already modeled something that's at that five and a half foot head height, we can zoom in here and see, okay, here's our panel we modeled. It's up at five and a half. So instead of having to put in that number, we can move it up, it's in tentative, line it up with that, the top of the panel that's already in place. And now those two panels we created with the slab command are even on the wall. Let's look at something a bit more complex. So this transformer, let me switch gear, something that we kind of overlooked earlier, have these dashed lines around them. 
that means there's a slab or concrete pad that sits underneath this equipment. Oh, we do clean this one. All right, so let's start by copying our switch gear because we, our switchboard because we managed to miss or delete one. So we'll just copy the solid over. Now, how to deal with these equipment pads? I actually have a specific level for that in our level libraries. It sits under S dash equipment e pad. This is our equipment pad level. Now we're going to create another slab solid using those points. See, our ACS is all sorts of wonky. If we hit the enter key, it takes it out of that orthogonal mode just enough that when we select a tentative snap, it will lock into our plane that we want. And now we can use our ACS inputs and we want to make this a four inch thick equipment pad. So let's do that again. Come over here, tentative in a corner to start. We'll pick up the first side of our shape, hit enter to jump out of the orthogonal mode temporarily. Put our width and now we can put our height. Since we've created something of similar size, let's go ahead and copy this one. Then that corner to there. That one's a little bit too big. So as we're sitting here, we have these handles. If you're not seeing handles, that is this button here. It says disable handles, you will not see the little blue buttons. Occasionally, if they disappear, you have accidentally hit the N key. It's in November, and that makes the handles disappear. So let's go ahead and grab this lower one. I'm going to resize our pad. Okay, so let's try that again. I'm going to take this equipment pad, I'm going to copy it over to where our transformer is going to live. Grab our handle and resize it to the appropriate sized equipment pad. So our equipment we created earlier is now living in the pad. Let's go ahead and grab our switchboards. We'll minimize that window. Do a move, which is three, two, if you like to use the key ends. Tentative on that lower corner. Come down here to view three. Lock in our axis to let us move up and down. And move our equipment so now it lives on top of the pad as it should. And there you go. Next, we'll get into modeling more complex shapes.